Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and we are focusing on Angular routing in this particular last few episodes. Today we are going to learn about parameterized routes. What are parameterized routes? How do we pass parameters? How to implement it? We'll do some hands-on. We'll learn all about that in this tutorial. Welcome back, my name is Sridhar. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer and I'm here to share my knowledge with you and also to learn from you all. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I will be happy to help you for free. I've created a playlist for you, Angular 9 full tutorial playlist. So please do check it out, which has over now 35 tutorials. If you really want to master Angular, it has everything for you to learn from it. All right, so like I said, from the last few episodes, we are focusing on Angular routing and we have covered basics of routing. We have learned about routing strategies, routing module, outlet, and we configured some routes in the previous episode. Today, we are going to learn how to pass parameters to the routes, which is mostly the case when you are building any CRUD operation or any application you will require to pass parameters in your routes. After this tutorial, you will be able to create your own routes which will take parameters. Let's get started and see how. So parameters is nothing but you when we configure a route which will take dynamic values. If you remember from the previous episode where we have created static routes. For example, if we see product slash 10, it was always the slash 10, right? The value will always be 10. But in real world scenarios and use cases, the value will always be dynamic. For example, if you see here, we are configuring the value and telling the Angular router that the value will be dynamic by passing colon ID. So this is how we can um, pass the dynamic value to Angular routing. Now, we will see some hands-on example. Now, uh, to do that, uh, let me do, let me share uh, my screen and let's get started by doing uh, URL parameters basically, right? So we will be able to pass values and then also read them in the in the, our component. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, let's open our editor. Okay, so we have our editor. I have my package. Uh, let's go to app routing dot module, right? So if you see here, I have already created something called I've already created something called product ID slash colon ID, right? Now this can be anything that you want. Okay, there is no uh, compulsory. So I'm going to create it from scratch for you. So I will generate a component. I will call it orders, right? Um, order, right? Order hyphen view. So uh, let's generate a component and let's call it order hyphen view. Okay, so we got our order created here, order view, and it's already included in our app module, which is good. Now in the routing, let's add that path. And we will say whenever we encounter a path like this, and there is an ID, it should point to component order view component right so order view is already imported here in this line if you see right number eight so now you see we have a path which is taking dynamic value okay so let's go to order view and it simply says order view works that's what we should see all right so let's start it i think it's already serving let's see if not we'll start it okay so i already have it serving here let's do slash order slash 20 it says order view works which is what our template says right order view template says order view works now i'm going to pass here 30 it still says order view works now i'm going to pass some random value it still says it works now i'm going to pass some alphanumeric which is numbers plus string characters it still works right now this is simple use case now let's capture that detail and display it here okay so for that what we are going to do is in the order view component right 
so here we'll need some um, supporting or libraries or modules so we will import something called activated route to capture the things and then we will say activated route okay so it's imported from angular router and then we will say in the constructor uh, let's have a variable defined here I'm, I'm going to call um, param query equal to initial state is empty but now we got this dot activated route dot params right dot subscribe now here we are reading the data and we are saying we will assign this value to this dot param query equal to data okay now it says cannot assign value string right so it's because it's an id correct so here what we'll do instead is we will say dot uh, say id okay and in the template we are going to use that and here we'll use interpolation and we will say param query that the same variable which was entered here right so now let's see so it's it is showing the value that we entered here now let's change it here make it 40 so now let's a little bit format it so that we it's much easier and again entered value okay so you see entered value is 40 so now it knows what parameter was entered dynamic value see now it is 30 now it's 40 so similarly we can configure the parameters route that we are doing and we can easily configure uh, the dynamic parameters right uh, so this is one of the use cases that we use in terms of uh, passing parameters into our route okay so now uh, usually the question that is often asked is uh, can we pass multiple IDs yes definitely we can pass them so uh, let me show you that by an example now here we just have to simply configure in the route path okay so here we have to give a different name that we want to capture so now let's try with multiple routes so let's say this routing ID okay so here I'm going to say slash id slash id2 right which means now this should take two parameters right but now if you see since i am only passing one it did not take it anything and it says route not found so we'll fix that also in just a bit right now it is taking two parameters and how do we print that value we can easily print that value by saying id2 that I want data dot ID two. Now it is giving hundred. Similarly, I can also capture ID one. Param one, param two. I'll call it query. Query one and param two. Okay. So now I have two in the template. Let's add the two parameters. Uh, first param entered value second param entered value here we'll call it one here call it two so now and let's just put a paragraph break so we can read it easily okay and that's it so now we should see two parameter values the first parameter value okay it's not showing let's see why uh, it's just ID and not ID 1 okay so first parameter value is 40 the second parameter value is 100 right so similarly um, we can configure multiple routes as well so we can configure one route we can configure multiple dynamic routes um, we can pass these values according to however we want so if you have one ID just pass one if you are expecting two just put that there are the second component name that you want to use um, so yeah so that that is how you can configure um, different uh, multiple parameters to your URL routing 
So this was all about uh, using parameterized routes. In the next uh, episode, I'm going to teach you about query parameters, another yet another important aspect of Angular routing. Uh, do try this out. Do let me know if you have any doubts, any queries. I'll be happy to answer and help you. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.